classic French bistro dish would have to be duck with pepper sauce. And don't forget the duck fat chips. I absolutely love it. And these days we're lucky enough to find beautiful duck fillets at all supermarkets. So this is a really easy recipe to do at home. It's elegant. If you want to impress someone, this is your go-to recipe. I've removed the duck out of the packaging and I've allowed it to air dry because I want that crispy skin. I'm also just going to trim up some of the fat, not too much because it will shrink slightly in the pan. And the second one, just a little bit here, we're just trying to tidy it up slightly. Okay, good. Now that duck fat can go into one pan. So the, the pan that you're going to be doing your chippies in, we'll just pop that in there and just allow it to start to render. Now we need some salt. Salt is not only going to flavour this, but it's also going to allow us to get that crispy skin. So a good pinch of salt on the skin side and on the other side too. Okay, now I'm going to turn the heat on. We just want this on a very low heat to start with. So skin side down. While we're waiting for that to start to render, let's get on with the chips. I've always got some extra duck fat in my fridge, so we'll get a head start with it. You can wait for the duck fat to start rendering from the meat, but I want to get this on now. So just allow that fat to melt down. And for the potatoes, I'm using some Desiree potatoes for this recipe. I like them because they hold their shape nicely. I've left the skin on the Desiree potatoes, but I have squared them off just so they look like big fat chippies. They can now go into the fat. And I'm cooking them now because they'll cook in just the right amount of time for the duck to be ready. So keep an eye on them. You want to keep turning them in that duck fat until they're golden brown and tender through the centre. Right, while everything's cooking away, let's get on to our pepper sauce. I'm going all out with my pepper sauce today. Three varieties of pepper. A combination of green peppercorns that are in brine, some pink peppercorns and Szechuan. I love that numbing, spicy heat from the Szechuan pepper. So you want to add about a teaspoon or so of each, depending on how strong you want this. So in with the first one. And all of these peppercorns you can get from your grocery store. So pink peppercorns, they're the mildest and sweetest. And then some dried Szechuan pepper. Definitely not traditional in the French style dish, but I'm giving it a bit of a juzzy twist here. Now we're just going to crush this up. We're just trying to extract as much flavour out of the peppercorn. So we want to break them up. You can chop them if you like, but I find this is the most effective way of doing it. And then that is ready to go. The smell, I love it. All right, back to the duck. I can see that a lot of that fat has rendered. So I'm not gonna waste it. That can go straight into our pan with chippies. Great. And now have a look at this duck. Perfectly cooked. See how crispy that skin is? That's what we're after. But now we need to finish cooking the duck. And the best way to do this is in the oven, 190 degrees for a further eight to 10 minutes. The duck has come out of the oven and just like any protein, we need to rest it before we slice into it. So onto our board, you'll see that there's just a little fat left over here. That's the perfect amount to start the sauce. So we're going to pop this onto a medium heat and in with our shallots. I've just finally sliced one large French shallot. So in they go. And just with a spoon, mix them, incorporate them with the duck fat and just let them caramelise. And we do want them to go golden because the more golden those shallots are, the better the sauce is going to be. The colour of the sauce is going to be gorgeous too. So that's looking good. We can add our peppercorns, our three varieties. So all up it comes to about a tablespoon and a half. And then we give that another stir. <laughs> and you can really start to smell that pepper now. I love it. And usually with this sauce, we would add some brandy. But I love this with whiskey. It works really nicely. So in with a splash of whiskey. Oh, that is the most sensational smell. And then some stock. And I'm going to let that bubble away, just reduce slightly. And then some cream. Now the cream is going to make this into a lovely velvety sauce. So a generous amount of cream. And again, it will come back up to the boil and give that a bit of a stir. 
What we're looking for is just for this cream to coat the back of the spoon. See that? See, I can just run my finger straight through it. That's a good indication of the perfect consistency for the sauce. All right, off the heat, let's plate up. So this has rested nicely, a sharp knife, and we're just gonna cut this into thick medallions. See how none of the juices are running? It's because we've allowed it to rest. And for me, this is perfectly cooked. It's pink from the top all the way down to the bottom. Just gorgeous. Fan the duck out onto a plate. Look how tender that is. Just right. Don't forget about our chippies. Look at them. Golden brown. We'll add them to the plate. Nice little pile. And then our sauce. Now I want to keep that skin really crispy, so I'm just going to make a little moat of sauce. So just drizzle that in and around the duck. I like how it's kind of chunky from the shallots and the three varieties of peppercorns that we've added. A little warm, you know how much I love my sauce. Great. You can serve this with a sprinkle of parsley or Traditionally in France, a little side salad, you'd have this first to cleanse the palate, a nice fresh salad with a simple vinaigrette. If you can't get to a French bistro, if you can't get to France, bring the French bistro to you. Duck with pepper sauce, it's a real standout dish.